Hello everyone, I am Premin here. In this video, we are going to have a look on animation retargeting in KineFX. Uh, KineFX is a rigging and animation workflow and can create and edit the characters at the geometry level. And the animation retargeting is a process taking the animation from one character and transferring it to another character. And this is my character which the geometry has been captured and exported as FBX format. So first let me create the geometry node here. Going to and name it as KineFX character CHAR. Inside this geometry, actually there are many ways to import the character. If the character has already been inside the scene, we can use this scene character import. Through this we can access the character, but as of now we are not going to do this, which I am going to import the FBX. This is the one FBX character import. Okay, this is the character which we have seen in that earlier. And the first output node is the rest geometry which contains the polygon with bone capture attributes and then the capture pose. In this the joint which is a point of position and uh, 3 into 3 transform matrix. And the last one is the animated pose. To deform this character let me create the normal bone deform SOP and connect all these outputs. To check let me create the rig pose SOP. This is to modify the pose of the skeleton or also the rig. Can be either static or uh, animation inputs. Can see all the bones inputs. Uh, in the parameters editor if you see as of now there is no transform parameters. Once you select any of this joint, soon in the transformations multiparam you can see the transformations of those joints gets appeared. Those translate, rotates, scale everything. And you can see the deformation in the bone deform node. And the rig pose SOP by default works in the default pre-multiply mode which continues the transforms as a layer on top of the inputs. Next I am going to input that animation for that I am going to use this FBX animation import. Let me import the animation. I have many animations which I have downloaded from the Mixamo.com. You can see dance animation and another one is yeah landing and this one is the uh, ideal pose so first let's use this dance animation since the character size is as like this we need to match the size of the source animation skeleton to the target skeleton so to match this before that I need to make my source skeleton with the T-pose since my target skeleton is almost to the T-pose. So to match this let me again import the animation and switching this to wrist pose. So one is the wrist pose and another one is the animation. So I am going to stash this wrist pose with the rig stash pose. This pose simple like the other stash SOP which uses to store a pose as static and we are going to connect these two to the rig stash pose. Now you can see according to the names and everything 
been stashed but still we need to match the scale so let me add the rig match pose so with this rest transform attribute I'm going to match this now I'll, by default it has been matched it's because of the option called enable match bones and if you want to manually match it means yeah, you can see the target skeleton you can see it you can use this parameter scene uniform scale okay but still the T pose has not been matched for the target skeleton so in the rig pose let me use the clavicle and shoulder everything let me modify it so whenever if I touch means the parameter is also getting updated yeah somewhat I match remaining things see you later with this apply transform to the target skeleton everything has got matched but the names have been different so to match all according to the respective points I'm going to use the map points I'm going to use the mapping parameters and this mapping parameters gets update by mapping these points by clicking the leftmost button and dragging from one point to another as like this and you can see in the mappings multiparam all these points have got updated and to transfer this animation I'm going to use the full body IK this transfers the motion to the target skeleton using full body inverse kinematics now you can see it has got transferred to deform the character let's check in the bone deform We have got the animations. Now, if you see the animation with this, now if I switch the bypass, you can see. You can see the offset. See. After modifying, like this, we can modify for other bones but if you see the fingers part since we have not mapped the finger points so before fine tuning the fingers let me map the fingers now now all the fingers have got mapped I didn't map manually for the right side of the fingers by holding the shift key and using the mouse button itself it has got mapped to show this let me disconnect these points by holding the control key and clicking somewhere in the empty space now you can see those dotted lines if I do if I hold the shift key and mapping the points means you can see those dotted lines again now fingers have got motions but I'm going to change another animation it's holding as like this you can see the fingers with this inverse kinematics the fingers also got applied so to fix this I'm going to solve in another method let me reopen the file 
and create another map points exclusive for the fingers and name it as fingers since the mapping name is the same name for the IK solvers so I'm going to rename for the new name as mapping fingers in the mappings multiparam I'm going to add only the fingers and the wrist part so now by holding the shift key and clicking the left mouse button you can see now all the fingers have got mapped you can see the wrist and the fingers have been mapped under the attribute name of mapping fingers so to solve this I am going to use the FK transfer this computes the offsets in orientation which helps in these finger curling motions between the finger joints I am going to connect source and the target and I am going to select those points those extra bones I am not going to use it and the mapping attribute name is mapping underscore figures and I am going to snap over into nearest axis I am going to take this out to the bone deform now you can see but we need to update the animation now the fingers have got mapped properly so the next video we will be seeing in the some other examples hope so you have enjoyed this video thank you